Here we go. All right, you got. All right. So. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I have a guest with me, regrettably. What? Um, regrettably, what? and uh, this is Gina. Introduce yourself. Yer, what up? Is G money uh, in the building? If, pew, 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 if you're pew. new to the podcast, please be sure to uh, we're we're canceling it right here. <laughs> that was pretty much it. No, don't cancel it. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll redo it then. <laughs> that was me hitting the reverse button. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Gina. There you go. Yeah, I'm definitely uh. That's it. We're done. We're done. Here. <laughs> but uh, so, so uh, end game is coming out Thursday. Yes, it is. And um, I'm extremely Revenge excited. The Fallen. That's, that's a tagline. I, I know. It's oh, a tagline. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Um, um. So um, comes out Thursday. Yeah. Well, it technically comes out Friday, but you can get the early but release on the Thursday, Thursdays. which, you know, I got that pre-ordered my ticket. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, so it's coming out Thursday. And yes. uh, uh, you've seen all Marvel movies, correct? I have. I, I, I have to figure out the, like, timeline, like, in terms of like the order to watch the movies not yes but no like in a sense of you know how they all came out separate times right so right. it's like how to put them in the correct chronological order. that's kind of what i was okay. saying yes like the yeah. order to watch them in is a chronological order but hey, um hey, you could have meant like the year they came out Sorry. no no i didn't but um anyways so um there's a video on that on the channel should be sure to check that out you know i will if Thank you're you. listening to this podcast you know youtube.com forward slash alternative factuals yes help us get to 1k thank you very much ancient chinese secret <laughs> and um it's not that ancient <laughs> anyways do you have any predictions or, or anything like that that you would like to uh that you feel might happen or what do you what would you like to see going forward in any game predictions i don't know because i feel like every marvel movie i'm like ooh, this this is about to go down and then i go see it and it's like what that's not what was gonna happen all right so go ahead, go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead just, just um, take a stab at it take a take a knife and just turn out the lights and try and stab it i feel it like dark. i feel like captain marvel is definitely going to be like when she gets nah 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 you don't think so nah Damn, you shut down my whole thing before I Absolutely. even said it. Could have okay. done anything else with Captain Marvel. Okay. Could have been like, oh, Iron Man might die, or Captain America, or Hawkeye. You know what? Or, you know. Actually, I think someone has to die, unfortunately. That's fucked up as that sound. I f- someone has to die, and it has to be one of the big dogs. The big dogs. The Whether it's Cap... Mm, it could be Captain America, because, you know... I don't, think they, I don't think they'll kill him, per se. Not kill him, I, but I think he, they're going to take, they him, take yes. him out for a little they while. They need to take him so that, you know, Winter Soldier could take a... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Captain America. Iron Man for sure. It could be a big one. I think he'll be lingering for a little bit. I think they're both just going to be like doing more like cameo related roles. Someone's going to die. Man. The Hulk got to get it together. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some leaked footage. Oh, that was you, I haven't seen the leaked footage. I still have the leaked footage, actually. Ew. Yeah, but I'm not going to spoil it because, spoil it. you know, I'm not that kind of person. Um, I am, but I'm going to be nice today. I feel like not everyone's going to come back. That that was that disappeared. I believe you. I think like some people, I think as a matter of fact, I'll put it like this. I think everyone who like got killed by the finger snap, they're going to come back. But everyone who got killed before the snap is going to come back. So like Gamora is not going to come back because she wasn't taken out in the snap. She She was was already dead. dead. But the the only trick with her is she needed. Well, her death was the only reason why Thanos got the soul stone in the first place. Right. So I feel like maybe her soul was still in the soul. In the the stone, you think? Yeah. Yeah, Well, that's basically what happens, you know, in uh, the Infinity Gauntlet run in the comic books where the soul stone contains a whole separate universe within itself where people's souls are stored. Exactly. So um, I think that. I mean, she, in her case, I think like she might be the exception, mm-hmm. just because she was the one who was killed. But mm-hmm. uh, everybody else, like um, the Nova Corps, was like halfway wiped out. Halfway. And uh, the rest of the Asgardians, half of them were of killed them after dead. half of them were already killed Wakanda's by. Wakanda's uh, half gone. <laughs> yeah, I'll say like wh- whoever got killed during the war before right. the finger snap, they're not coming they're not, back. Of course not. So that's why that's me personally. I don't think everyone's gonna come back, but. Uh, 
that'll be a nice little uh, in there. Yes, Ant Man comes back from being trapped in the fucking quantum realm. Yeah. Which I think he plays a big key in that, actually. Yeah, he does. You can even tell by the trailer, like right. uh, he comes back and then remember that, that. I think that was kind of the point the last few years to hint at it, like okay, the quantum realm can like time travel, so um, right. do other crazy stuff. Right. But um, I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna play like a really huge role, at least big enough to the point they're gonna be like, okay, yeah, he's gonna be the one. That, hey, we can do he's this. The the time tra- yeah, right, right. And the unexpected hero, the underdog, kind of, so mm-hmm. to speak. You know. I also feel like maybe there will just be. Some characters that are just like, you know what? After this, I hang up my uh, my yeah. tights. I feel like there's gonna be Hawkeye, maybe if he doesn't die. Well, I, feel I also like his... feel, ironically, Iron Man because he didn't want to have a kid with Pepper. He did want to have a kid. That'll be so cute. Nigga still trapped in space though. <laughs> I mean, right now, <laughs> but based on the trailer, he get to Earth somehow. He He's does, like, look he here. Does. He's like, look. Either way, I'm gonna hit that. And, hey. And if I gotta move heaven and earth to get through this space, this yeah. black hole, he gonna do it. And based on the trailer, he did it. I feel like, yeah, I feel yeah. like he's gonna be like, you know what? Time for me to be a dad. Especially yeah. with the whole Peter, like, I don't wanna die, Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> Rattled him. And that was his son. <laughs> he was like, nah, I'm good. So, right, right. Yeah, let me, let me just do what I gotta do. She gonna hit him with the, yo, I'm three months pregnant and you've been gone for like right. mad long. Right. I definitely that thought that that was gonna happen. Like, I feel like, dope. you know, she's. she's Something's been going on since he's been trapped up there, and he's gonna come down. He's gonna be like, "What?" You know, that's a great video topic. Mm. I should like do a video about that later. Right like down. Pepper, like Avengers Endgame. Pepper is mm. pregnant. When that would be great. I'm I at, also feel like, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I feel like Pepper is gonna be one of that that like secret, the secret puzzle that sh- you you underestimate her because it's Pepper. And then she's going to come out from behind and be like, she was a key player and all that. I think she's going to be clutch, where it's just like... Right. Uh, That's what I mean, though. Like, because remember, technically she owns uh, right. a nice chunk of Stark Industries because of Stark. And she is so she's I think actually she really be like, smart, yeah. aside from just being Iron Man, you know? So I think she's going to be like, yo, I got what you need. Also, you I'm three me? months pregnant. <laughs> right? And she's going to hit him with have that. these Iron Babies. <laughs> iron Babies. That sounds painful. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to, like... That sounds horrible. Here, yo. Just mad clinking through the... Ooh. <laughs> the doctor push, clink, clink, clink. After that, he's just like, you'll kill me. Just end my life after that. Imagine twins, triplets. Oof. Oof that's terrible. I mean... That's, that's your fault. Now that's a very horrible image. Well, look at it this way. That maybe they just jetpack out her belly. <laughs> jetpack out her belly and kill her because she bleeds to death. Okay. Well, there's that. All right, we're getting too off. Anyways, tangent. so what do you think is going to happen with uh, Scarlet Witch and, uh, you know. That needs to stop. That needs to end vision. right there. I mean, the comic books, they got it on and popping for a minute. Uh, I don't know. She was um, all, over, all over that synthetic. Uh, synthetic. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> pretty much. Beep. Um, she was all in there. She was like, dang, I need you to use that. I need you to go intangible and reach inside. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways. Anywho. But yeah, they uh they definitely did. Um I mean, if he comes back, great. You know, and then they can pick up where things, you know, ended. <laughs> pick up where things left off. Uh, y'all wanna <laughs> know how they're she had kids. to yo, when she had to kill him, that scene was so sad. That was deep. She was a the, kudos on her acting though. She was she killed that. Yo, she he was just that. like, yo. You know what scene I hated talking about acting when Gamora died so bad. Mm. That acting was terrible. No, don't do that. <laughs> first of all, don't violate her like that. I'll violate her. It, it, was, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't that you first of all you're a hater. Zoe Saldana is amazing. I love her. I worship the ground she walks on, okay? I love Gamora. But you just insulted her. That was her a acting. terrible acting moment. I will tell I will call it like I see it. That no, the, the was best a bad actor moment. in that whole movie is Paul Bettany as Vision. He's like, oh, oh, all I do is feel you. <laughs> and then like that was it. Like I was just like, damn, damn bro, like yo, deep. that was really deep. Like he does all I, all I feel is you. I'm just like, dang. Wow. That's love. And then he died. And but then uh he died in arms, <laughs> you know? Not really in her arms, more like by her arms. consumed by her mental abilities. 
that crushed the stone that was in his forehead. But I mean, figuratively, though. Figuratively, yes. In her arm. <laughs> you know what's funny? Watching an interview of them talking about like all the stunts and how like every other actor has to do crazy stunts. And she's like, I'm just waving my hands around. Yo, she says she has like a <laughs> interpretive dance instructor who teaches her how to like move her hands in that Ooh. weird kind of way. All right, you it sound makes a little... sense. No, it does make sense because there's like you know there's tutting. I'm tutting oh, right oh, oh! I'm tutting oh. right now and it's freaking him out. <laughs> <laughs> there's finger tutting, which is like dance with your fingers. Well, well, that I've seen. I remember back. What was it like? 2010. That was a thing. Like yes, everybody, everybody was, was trying to tutting. do. Everybody, everybody was, was trying to do that. Tutting. But um, but Leave yeah. To the professionals, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, she definitely. I James just like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. What else? But um. But um. But um. But um. But um. Um. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the relationship between them two. But uh, what I'm interested in has have you seen the news with uh with this Brie Larson, you know, Captain America, whatever. Yes. It's not like I honestly have absolutely nothing against her. Right. I have no idea why people are actually going that hard about her because um, at least I haven't seen anything that like really triggered me to think like, oh, she's like terrible or whatever. But mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Like, I just think her chemistry is different. Like, you know, like I watch the interviews because some mm-hmm. of the, a lot of the interviews are funny because mm-hmm. like after you've been doing movies for like 10 years with right, each other. Right. Right. You these have people that, are like a legitimately friends. Of course. Of course. So I'm like, I watch these interviews. Like yeah. So I was like, I literally like I literally see all these interactions. Like oh, everybody's cool, and then like when people get around her, though, it's like this. No one really Tense wants to. Up. Yeah, they don't really want to interact with her directly. And then even though she's kind of seeking to have that interaction, nobody else wants that well, interaction. Well, it could be used into the. I. Yeah, you're right. But in a way, doesn't it kind of work for Captain Marvel's character? Because it's like she, you've been gone for all these years, madam. I mean, it works for the motivation and kind of the, I guess, well, the motivation of her acting, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone's treating me a certain type of way, and then, you know, right, she can I'm really... I'm all ostracized and alienized from everyone. You know what's so crazy, though? Like, that's exactly how her character was treated yes. in comic books. Like, and <laughs> also in the movie. Like, she's like, who am I? Oh, you don't need to know. Like, <laughs> like no, one re- yeah, no one cared about her. Like, even, like, what's so funny is, like, don't get me wrong. I saw the movie. Right. I enjoyed it. But I only enjoy I only enjoyed it because like the relationship between what Nick Fury and uh, Captain Marvel, right? right? So which I uh, really enjoyed. Like that was I, the I best the, part I like, of the yeah, movie. I like the sillier Nick Fury when he was younger. When he was younger, so before was like, the cat took his eye, and then he was just like, oh, you know, <laughs> it, he tried to gas like it was something. But the cat was a dangerous alien, so that's it was. like that's way more. But epic. he totally lied. That's yeah, not how did. you lost your I mean, eye, my nigga. <laughs> I mean, um, but I mean, um, I, I like I, I enjoyed the movie, but. Overall, like I just didn't care about her character. I, I didn't either. Like I just don't care. Like I literally went because you know it's an MCU film. Oh, let me support. You know. Not that I didn't care for her character, but I, I didn't, didn't feel, care. Like no, I, I didn't feel. I the, don't care. I didn't. I don't care. Oh my God, will you let me put my two cents in? I was gonna reach for change. I know but. you. <laughs> I I know you were. Um, it's not that I didn't care for her character. But I just didn't feel the same compassion and interest for her whole storyline. It was like, so oh, you didn't care. No, about no, no. <laughs> I cared a little bit. I cared. It was more like, oh, you were a human and then you were sent to space and then now you got powers. But why are you mad? <laughs> so basically, you don't care. Exactly. You don't care about her character. It's just like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Her origin's cliche. Her origin's An accident very explosion, cliche. and then next thing you know, she got powers. She got, that yeah. sounds exactly like the Incredible Hulk, a gamma bomb explosion, yeah. and he gets powers. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, that's you're not doing anything amazing, to be honest. Her character was never really relevant. <laughs> you're not doing anything amazing. Yeah. But I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> She's technically the first Avenger, if you think about it. Nah, nah. Technically, nah. she's the one that gave him the idea for Project Avenger. I mean, Captain America is the first Avenger. I he is the first Avenger because the but idea was that seed was planted after the Super Soldier Serum was a success. Yes, and they it saw was. the potential, which created the uh, Howling Commandos, the team that he actually infiltrated. I'm just saying, technically, because of the whole relationship he Hydra. had with Meg Fury, and then after their whole relationship and, and, was when they started the whole Avengers project is this so in the movie you could see it that's what i'm saying they just did it for her just to make her feel special avenger technically even though she's not she's the ghost avenger okay i like ghost avenger because she's like there but not really she's the skeleton avenger 
yeah. She created it. the backbone for the rest of oh, the Avengers. I don't know about backbone. I'm more like backbone, more yo. like the big toe. You still need your big toes I mean, to you, balance. Yeah, you need your big toes to balance. It's very important. You still can live a pretty good life without them. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That'd be that'd be terrible. Have you not seen Moody's Point? In a I minute? love Moody's. Oh my God! Don't get me. You can me live st- a full Amanda, life. Demand, 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 show. You can live a full life without your your big toe. A l- enjoyable life with your. But he kid. couldn't stand or walk. But he put a, he put a Frank on it though. <laughs> he did. He glued a Frank on it, and then his wife managed to get his toe because she's been in an air balloon for like ten years. Ugh. That seems to never run out of gas. Early two thousands television, 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 wow. television was great. I, I learned English she's, as a second she, language. She was trying to say Telemundo. That's what it I was. was. <laughs> I learned the, I learned English it's as a second language. Gigante. <laughs> so sometimes words get mumbled up in my brain. I think in Spanish, and I translate to English. <laughs> No dead ass. I can I can imagine that thought process just like I'm doing it right now, homie. Lo estoy haciendo ahora mismo. <laughs> like I, I don't know. It's just everything sounds English to me. Nah, everything sounds in Klingon. Wow. <laughs> uh, Terrible Klingon. Nah, but early 2000s TV was great. It was amazing. One of the best things to ever hit TV. And the music. Just the early 2000s was great. I think, you know what it is? No one's making anything original anymore. Everything's based off a book, based off a comic, based off of something. No more creativity, you know? Yeah. And then the people that do have the creativity were broke. Factuals. (laughs) Thus the name of this podcast and channel, Factuals. Alternative Factuals. Is this really true? Maybe this is a conspiracy. Maybe we live in the Matrix. But uh, Oh, maybe. That's deep, right? Anyways, Anywho. before we go off into a too deep of a tangent, right. before we forget where we came from, uh, what, what were we talking about? We were talking about the times. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> All of the Marvel movies. Right, right, right. So, the whole thing with Brie Larson, whatever, cool. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Eh. All right, so. Do you feel like it was a good casting choice to have her play the Captain Marvel? To be completely honest, I know crap about her. Like, I know nothing about her. About they Captain said, Marvel, the, the I character? Even, I didn't even know her name. Like, I was just like, who the heck is Brie Larson? Oh, okay. The actress got you. Yeah, I yes. was like, who the heck is Brie Larson? I'm like, I don't... Um, I'm, I might have seen her in something else, yes. but she probably just didn't really so, imprint deep enough for me. I feel like the only reason they chose her is because she's an Academy Award winner. And that's dead ass. I feel like it's because of her attitude. Like, she fits the character a little bit. But not, not really. Not yeah, not no, really, that's not yeah. true. No, she fits it because she's blonde. <laughs> that's true. And again, she has an Oscar. But who cares though? Like, I'm not here. I don't want to see. First of all, this is my. We childhood. don't care. Like, but the pro- to the producers, that means a lot to the producer and the director because in their eyes, it's like once you put Academy Award winner in front of a name or in front of a poster, it's like ooh, Academy Award but, winner. But it didn't work though because like even though don't get me wrong, the film did, did well. It. The film did well. In terms of like financially, it did well, yes. and the ratings were right. They were they were solid, mm-hmm. but in terms of like people, not even just people like me, a lot of people who saw her. That's why she's getting so much slack on the news. And this has never happened with any other character. Like you had Iron Man, Thor. Oh no, yeah, even everyone it, loved some people was like, oh, it's because she's a woman. You had Scarlett Johansson um, yeah, in no, there since like day one, and not a single woman. person complained about her. Right, right. And she didn't play like a role where she was like some damsel in distress. No, she was a super badass agent. Yes, she was. Like no one could tell her anything. She could mm-hmm. take anybody. So it was just like, if no, like she didn't have those issues coming in. Then what made her different to the point like she came in, and then everybody else just seems to have like everyone, not just the audience, but it seems like sometimes even the actors seem a little tense. So like, why do people have a problem with her Maybe. compared to Scarlett Johansson, or even with the new uh, actress or well, actor? Since you know now they they just want everyone to be considered actors, right? Because you know me. gender uh, correctness. You know, you know, I, I, I have to be politically <laughs> correct and all that. So excuse me, forgive my ignorance. Actors. Um, um, but even I forgot her name. Uh, who plays a Koye? Um, oh, and oh, Black oh. Panther. Um, uh, D- Diana, Diana. Ra- I know he talking about. You said Diana Ross. No, Diana. Di- it's Diana or Diana or something, with a G. But everyone was cool with her too. She, she like literally goes to She's the interviews, great. and then everyone has a blast. Even um, I, f- I, keep, I f- I'm terrible with names. I remember their comic book names. Mm-hmm. Even like the the girl who plays Shuri. Everyone was oh, cool. Yes, like everyone yes. like literally just I blended right She's in. Great. Everyone had a good time. Even when Angela Bassett was there, everyone well, was cool. Like you know what it is. You 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 can't buy chemistry. 
and you can't buy so why do they like why was she the exception to like chemistry like i guess on screen maybe she could pretend that chemistry yes. but like in person like because people that's still a watch real the thing people watch the interviews like you know and i honestly i think it does even better for the movies when like people see that the actors are actually friends because it only kind of increases that yeah. kind of feeling of camaraderie oh, when you're watching all that stuff so just like yo like but when you see her, I, like, honestly, like, I kind of see how tense people are around. Like, I will I have to show you the video. But when Jeremy uh, Renner, who plays uh, mm -hmm. Hawkeye, Hawkeye yes. yeah, he was, like, um, doing an interview with her. Like, he did First not he did not make eye contact with her. Okay. And he didn't even look her way. And then she was trying to, like, kind of get him involved. And he was just like, nah, I'm not having it. Like, you can, like, he, at one point, actually, she gave an answer. And then he gave the exact opposite of what she said. Oh. And then, like, he didn't do it disrespectfully, but you no, can but tell, just, like, yeah, right, right. he was just like. I, I honestly just think it's chemistry. Like, some some people some people have charisma naturally, and then some people don't. Like, some people, is just a facade for the camera. And then, facade. Facade. <laughs> and then some people, is, when the camera goes off, they have no personality. And that's a real thing. I think that sounds like her. Like, she sounds like, if you hear her responses, her responses are very basic and bland and like very it sounds very rehearsed okay like, yeah you know, like i yeah. try to use yeah. my platform to right. you know i'm just like i don't want to heal like tell them like also, who, you who know, are you really she's like she's not very known like aside i know of her because of the few movies that i've seen i her. don't care about her i feel like if they gone with a bigger name or someone that we really knew it would have been like you know even if they didn't go with someone they really knew like for example uh winter soldier being sebastian stan right right which he's, not a lot he's of people done, do. He's done like really small films. I think he was in uh, Shakespeare. I yes, think. he was. Um, there was something else that I saw. Shakespeare seen him in. and Love. So he was like he he's done smaller stuff. He wasn't really recognized, but, but he bodied that he role. He had great chemistry had the, off and on yes. screen, and like his BFF now is like when Anthony Mackie yes. plays Hawkeye. Yes, and they like yo they have the Wait, best. Anthony Mackie doesn't play. No, no, I'm not. Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, Falcon. Sorry. Yes, I there said you go. Fal um, I was Falcon. Like, so yeah, they, like they have like phenomenal chemistry. And then when it's like Anthony Mackie, Sebastian Stan, and Chris, um, Chris Evans, like when they all three of them in the room, forget about it. Which, they just have a blast. She's I'm like, also like she just started. Like she's the newest. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. You're right. Because you know Chadwick Boseman did fine, or Winston Duke, True. or like I said, the girl, the the one who plays Okoye, or the True. one who plays Shuri. Like they all mix perfectly. They all perfectly. And there was like no hiccup. And then like they literally look like they have a good time when they talk to the rest of the actors. But she's just like nobody just really wants to interact with her like that even when they go to the panels everybody just be like asking questions around her and it's just like dang like people really don't mess with her like damn yeah i'm sorry Treyway. miss 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 marvel <laughs> i said treyway 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 but anyways mm -hmm. um where were, we, where were we going with this um i feel like we really dragged that part no no, no. <laughs> we, were, we were going on predictions of what we thought and then we were just we started deconstructing the character of captain marvel a little bit later yeah, I don't care about her. Honestly, they it's should, a dub. They, they should bring in Denzel Washington, right? What? But he should play Blue Marvel. Oh. Blue Marvel was actually technically the real, like the first superhero, like to ever kind of exist. And he Marvel, was way I hope you're more. Notes. And he was more powerful. Well, they, you know how comic books are retconning, but he was extremely powerful. Actually, in a lot of cases, he was more powerful than. Nah, he was definitely more powerful than her. He went toe to toe with the Century. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah, he's definitely more okay, powerful. Okay, okay. So yeah, he's black man. He just takes forever to age, and he's extremely powerful. So let me ask you this. Now that and you I also did a video about that on the channel, so you can check out. So uh, be sure to. Uh, so let me ask you this: What comic book characters from? Um, the Marvel series that you haven't seen in the Avengers or that you haven't seen in any Marvel movies are you excited to see or would you love to see them included I would love to see the century one because he's not just a superhero uh -huh. the the interesting part about his character is he has a aspect of his personality that we call well everyone knows and what has been accepted in the comic book community as the void mm -hmm. so the century is basically marvel's version or one of the aspects or kind of versions of superman mm -hmm. where you know he has a cape you know the s but not on his chest it's on like, mm -hmm. his belt or something mm -hmm. like that and he took this formula that was supposed to be like a lot similar to the super soldier serum but in reality it ended up being way more powerful okay but one of the biggest side effects of it was just like how his good side was extremely powerful right. it created an aspect of him that was basically all his dark intentions given physical form mm -hmm. which we call the void 
Right. So when his emotions get out of whack, he turns into like this being that's like extremely powerful. I think he can locally warp reality to something or mana manipulation, one of those. Okay. But um, I would like to see that because even though it's it's not just about his power, but it's like it's about like the relationship between him and the void. Okay. And how every day he kind of fights to keep that darker aspect of himself kind of suppressed, but he wants to be a hero. Okay. And you know he 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 has his moments. You know he's a hero. He goes toe to toe with you know one of the most powerful versions of the Hulk. Blah blah blah, all that mm-hmm, good stuff. Mm-hmm. But Hulk needs to get it together. Yeah, that's um <laughs> that's definitely going to be that would that would be an interesting little because you don't have to take like the typical action adventure kind of route. I guess route that they usually would it's take. Just, yeah, they can take more like a uh, one of those psychological thrillers with a little bit of action and adventure. Okay, so something similar to like something uh, different. Ooh, yeah, something like really different. Like, I would say like a combination of like. The TV show Legion with like a dash of like us slash get out. Ooh. Then throw in like a little action and adventure. Then you'll have like a solid um, century film. That would be great. Okay. Okay. I want to see Apocalypse. You mean the, a better version of the Apocalypse? A better version of Apocalypse. Because I mean, that's not, that one does not count and you know it. I mean, I don't think you did a terrible job, honestly. You didn't do a terrible job. That one doesn't count and you know it. <laughs> I mean, if they continue with the Phoenix, the I Dark mean, Phoenix saga, I mean, apparently they bought the rights sort of, to it. It's, it's some sort it's, of canon. I'm excited to see what Marvel is going to do with the X Men. Actually, now that they bought it, they're probably not going to do nothing for a little bit. True. Not that long, but for a little while. But for a while. But still, I'm excited to see it. I, I want to see because you know it's. I just, not that they were uh. bad, but <laughs> the X Men movies were weren't bad. But you know, we it doesn't fit the Marvel. <laughs> I mean, uh, does it? It does, but it doesn't. What does it? No. Already then. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you know, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. The X Men is also one. Mm. I want to see. Interesting. Interesting, like interesting bad or interesting good. <laughs> just like. Uh, just like interesting. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fantastic Four definitely. Oh yes. All I'm gonna say, all the movies are terrible. The first two that came out, yeah, they were decent. They were solid enough. Okay. Like they were. This new remake they made. Nah, that new <laughs> one. Don't get me wrong. As much as I love like Michael B. Jordan, like you know he he's he's really solid. But I'm just like he that. Can do no wrong. But that but movie that was just that. that movie that that was not his fault. That it was wasn't, it that wasn't. was absolutely not his fault. But they just, I don't know what that was because that wasn't the fan. They literally just did something else and just said Fantastic Four. That was not the Fantastic Four at all. Not even a little bit. And that was so disappointing because a lot of people were just like, oh, maybe they'll get it right. No, nope. they didn't. They didn't. Total, total out. Train wreck. Damn. It was like a wet match in a dark cave. Like, that's how bad it was. That's very bad. Extremely bad. Terrible. I have several other offensive jokes, but I'm not going to say it. Anyways, um, but yeah, I would like to see the Fantastic Four done properly with, you know. Thank you. You know, the Russo brothers or Marvel, maybe. Marvel, take down Tahiti, notes. Tahiti, whatever his name is. Tahiti, Tafiti. 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 Um, I want to see another Thor. Well, I obviously want to get another Thor. Spider-Man well, really got. it's supposed to be a female. A female. Oh, you mean, uh, oh, that would be dope. Jane yeah. Foster as, uh, oh, mm-hmm. Jane Foster as Thor. That would, that would be fire. I'd definitely be down for that. Which is funny because I felt like in the last, in the last movie when they mentioned her, mm. like they, who brings it up? They ask something about like Jane and he's like, nah, we're not together anymore. Who wasn't in the last one? I'm sorry. It's something that's complicated. No, it, it, I think it was like an Age of Ultron, maybe. Yes, and it was like, it's complicated. I think it was like, yeah, he said I it's complicated. I feel like she's going to come back because it, it, she does become Thor eventually. Yeah, but I, the only reason I feel like it wouldn't fit in the... But then again, eh, mm, I, can't, I can't reveal that information. Can't, mm. I can't reveal that information because I saw some information that's not supposed to be public. But um, anyways, yeah, I mean... On paper, I feel like it wouldn't happen because he has Stormbreaker, mm-hmm. which doesn't apply to the same rules as like Mjolnir, his original hammer. Okay. But Wait. based on what might possibly be, I, I'm the leak was legit, but mm-hmm. based on what I've seen, that can still very much be a possibility okay. for her to, you know, become Thor. Don't get me wrong, her run was actually pretty good. Yeah. But um, I think she had cancer in the comic books, and then uh, every time she would transform, it would purge the chemotherapy from her body. Mm. So she would like. That was that was impressive. Okay, for the ad libs. 
anyways um <laughs> it will purge the chemotherapy from her body and uh she would basically every time she go back to a human form she'll be starting from zero that's terrible so but she will always do it to be a hero and i'm just like dang that dang. takes a that takes a real nigga <laughs> yeah real like me <laughs> If you're new to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but overall, I'm expecting Endgame to obviously obviously be a massive success. Um I'm really go- I'm I'm so I, I feel like freaking they're gonna excited. Have to themselves in terms of like and that's my worry too. I feel like cuz one in comic books Thanos was like one of well he is one of the like one of the most powerful beings yes. in the universe yes and there's multiple stories where he didn't gain absolute power on several occasions mm-hmm. and I think he's like in a double digits on how many times he's done it but I think because of how crucial of a character Thanos is and mm-hmm. how big even the infinity um the affinity gauntlet run was just so big in mm-hmm. comics it's just like what can you do after this that's going to top this remember this, remember, this took right. 10 years right. to build this right and I'm like, I remember when like the first Iron Man movie came out. Oof. I think what I maybe I might have been in high school at the yeah, time. Yeah. So I'm like, that was so long ago. You know what's funny? Going back and watching all the Easter eggs that they dropped. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it but was all after. in front of us <laughs> all along. How could we have missed it? And then how they changed Thanos' color for, like, several films. Yes. Like, he had, like, multiple shades of yes. purple. And then finally they got it right. And then it was like, okay, we, we finally, we, we'll settle on this purple. And we'll settle on this voice. Yes. I think they actually were using his voice before. Nah, it was, was no, it some, it wasn't, it was somebody else. No, it wasn't right? Brolin's voice because yeah. now it's Josh Brolin. Yeah, it was somebody it else. Yeah. But they, they had a similar kind of it, rasp. Right. And so the, that the that part was pretty solid. But also, in terms of, there's, like, little subtle differences in, like, the face. Yeah. They put, like, like, before, his his chin looked, like, more of a nutsack. Yeah. But then in the Infinity <laughs> it War, did. it looked a little less of a nutsack. Right. It looked more like a chin look, with lines. It looked like, you know, like, when, like, you know, it scrunches up. Like, yes, that's what the first yes, one looks yes. like and then like when it's starting to relax but not fully right that's what infinity war looked like so i was just like okay that's that's all right, all right, all right. i mean all right. they find this, this you know settled on a look but whatever um yeah how are they gonna top that like, oh, no. that's like 10 years can you imagine spending another 10 years of your life waiting for like the next big arc Oof. i mean they're, <laughs> they're- honest they're gonna have not that they're gonna have to but the way that contracts work and you know the money that they're gonna get off this fans are gonna be like okay what next that's true but i also think um because of contracts unlike comics the mcu has to move in the real world time true so as the characters get older they're gonna have to introduce new comic book concepts later on to kind of replace those people Mm -hmm. and then let's say if they decide to you know hey we want to reboot or recast they're going to have to basically pull a Marvel, which is, oh, let's do a massive event. We're going to do uh, Secret Wars. And then, boom, the universe is, uh, the multiverse is destroyed. Then somebody consolidates it. And then, boom, reboot. I have a feeling that their next move is going to be, well, even though you said this is not going to happen for a while. It's going to be like Avengers, Guardians, um, X-Men crossover. That's what, well, uh, that's Secret, not Secret Invasion, uh, Annihilation? Yeah. Because I think the Guardians, the X-Men, and... I think the X-Men wore out because they were, like, doing this civil war thing between... And the X-Men are always fighting in I comic mean, books. I mean, they're always... Yeah, what is it? Why can't mutants get along? It's like black-on-black black crime. Well, right. that, that, well, that's not really a real thing. Not a thing yeah. But, you know, that's like mutant or mutant crime. It's, <laughs> mutant not, it's not a real crime. You right. know, you're more likely to commit a crime against someone else who has powers because you have powers, too. True. So, I mean, it'll be too easy to try to steal from somebody else who's normal. Like... <laughs> Can you imagine being Kitty Pride? Like, oh, I'm phase through your pocket, steal your wallet. Like, that's mad easy. Now imagine you run into somebody or who Psylocke, can negate, like, it. like, right, like, or like, I'm just like, they can just take over your mind. It's like, give me your money, right? And then you have no actual proof that right. like they forced or you to rogue, do it. Like, let me suck this real quick out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a little uh, explicit. You know what I meant? They don't know what you meant. She absorbs uh, your life force by touching that's what, you. That's what she said. So That's what let she said. me absorb this real quick, like a paper towel. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> let me absorb this mm. anyway, like that. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here's this question I have, and I have my theory for it, and I've told a couple of people about it. Some people have given me their two cents. Mm-hmm. What is the reasoning for you? 
that Marvel's movies are so much more successful than DC movies? First of all, well, I wouldn't say they're um, Marvel's better than DC because I've actually always preferred DC comics yes, over Marvel. Thank you. But the I, reason I, I feel I, like their movies are a lot more successful is because, um, unlike what we've seen in the DC EU, is that they kind of rushed a lot of their films. Yes. And then people make the argument like, okay, yeah, like they the DC EU did well financially. They they met box. I'm like, remember, Marvel but, paved the way for superhero right. movies. This is so correct. people went in with the expectation that it might be even kind of decent. Right. But in reality, it wasn't. But I just think they they rushed it. If they took their time, like Marvel did a smart thing where they took a character, Iron Man. Um, he wasn't like extremely popular, but mm-hmm. he was established enough that people recognize him. Mm-hmm. They started with him, even though this is whole thing, you know, the Incredible Hulk. And then that's like what uh, Universal, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But it started with Iron Man, and then they introduced him, and then you really fell in love with the character. And it was yes. like okay. Then they tied him into the whole thing with the Incredible Hulk yes. with, you know, uh, Ross and, the, you yeah. know, the, the Avengers Initiative, right, Nick right, Fury, right, right. whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you start introducing other characters like Captain America, the first Avenger, you know, the Super Soldier Serum. And right. um, you start introducing characters like Thor. Like, they in, they took the time to tell backstories of each character okay. before they even got to the first Avengers. Okay, yes. Thank you. You touched on the backstory, right? I touched it. <laughs> but here's also my thing that I feel. When I watch DC movies versus uh, Marvel movies, I feel like in DC movies, they focus so much on the narrative of their backstory, and that is what they cling on for the whole movie, that it leaves little for the action that moves the plot forward. So, like, uh, like the, uh, yeah, Batman vs. Superman was kind of like yes. that. Where, like, they all focus Marvel so much, movies are like, I mean, sorry, all DC movies are like that. Like, they focus so much on, like, Batman and Superman. Yes. Where, like, but Batman was just so you. petty. The, first of all, Batman was never, ever that petty. Exactly. Like, never, ever exactly. that petty. It's also very poor character development within their movies. Yeah. Yeah. They focus so much on backstory that it's like, you're not even taking the time. You don't see how really, they grow. Like, right. And by then, the time you catch up to the present time or exactly. by the get closer to the end of the movie, it's you're like, already drained. now you have to force them to kind of just yes. be like, oh, well, I guess all is well. Right. And that's exactly what happened. Where, like, yes. most of it, they were being petty. Well, Batman was being petty. Superman was just, you know, being Superman. I was, I was worried Wonder Woman was going to start like that because it started with like, oh, no, here she is when she's little. Oh, no. They just they just gave you a little like, okay, right. she was little. They only spent like about five they minutes only, on it. Exactly. And then they moved on. And they moved on. And, and they, I was like, all right, cool. They, they started with told. the, right, the right. origin that everyone knows, you know, came to their mascara. Yes. Uh, and then, you know, she wanted to go out and save the right. world and blah, blah, blah. Wonder right. Woman. Like, they just focused on what people already knew and then it was like, all right cool like right. we we good with that like right. we didn't need a, that's why that movie did well same thing with aquaman the new 52 yes, version was so good. they showed a little bit of his you know younger just, spent a just little bit and, and, then and then they kept the, it going yes. with the present time that then movie it, did right. well shazam did the same thing even though same it didn't thing. require too much about because his past just, right but even then they spent only about like five it minutes it really got when straight got, to the point yeah like he got lost what? in the park right, right. and then after that that was Present so day. sad. Yeah, I was like, Yo, how your mom just leave you? How like your mom that? just leave you? And then she admits, Yeah, I saw yeah, you. Word and she didn't just, go back for you. I was just like, Yo, you, you. How you give him a compass? Your word, like, Oh, here you're you gonna might. use this one day, nigga. Where, like, it's okay, because the tables turned around and he gave it to you. Karma came back spoiler in full alert, circle. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, right for a movie that's been out. For, if you haven't seen it by now, what are you doing with your life? You know. First Says of all, the woman you, that two days ago. <laughs> like, right, you can't you can't tell them that, but they know I saw it. You know, I have well, proof. I saw it too. Like two days ago. So did I not see it? Are we barely, not talking uh, about it right bar- now? Barely. Shazam! First of all, you know what was really funny? Guys, hold this and say my name. Billy. That's not the name, guys. <laughs> See, but I, I like that. Some people, like, some people like, oh, I didn't like it because like, they, some people. I liked but it. But they was like, oh, it was for kids. I'm like, yes, bro, Shazam was a kid. This is from and the perspective of a kid. And I love that the dialogue, even though he was an adult, remained very childish. Right. And I'm like, people just didn't grab. I'm like, even when you read the comics, all that stuff takes it's place a, from a perspective a child, of a child. Right? He's like, this is so cool. I can... Yes. If you're a kid, if you're a nine-year-old and you turn into an adult and could fly, you'd be talking like that. Facts. I'd be talking like that right now. <laughs> if Fact. I just had powers, oh, yo, it's just, I'll be doing dumb stuff. I'll be the villain probably. But I'd yeah, probably be a villain. That's why I think DC's lacking. Oh, I just their animated movies are so great. Fire. Their TV writing is so great. Fire. But then their movie it just doesn't translate to movies because Trash. they try to carpent. They try to carp carp part. Blah, blah, blah. Compartmentalize. Yes, 
that word everything from the animated films and the the three seasons that they have of the show into mm-hmm. into an hour and a half and that you can't do that they just got so excited that's what it is it was like oh marvel's doing it let's just do it no but they forget they're, like this but is they 10 aren't years. doing it yeah they aren't doing it all in one hour they just didn't want to waste the time I'm like in reality no. you'd rather spend that time doing it right than right. rushing it then because rushing it. you get faithful fan bases yes. people will support you i'm like no matter how, like let's be honest Thor 1 wasn't even that great. It wasn't. Thor 2 wasn't that great. But Ragnarok? But Ragnarok was fine. But the fact of the matter is because even though Thor 1 and 2 wasn't like that great and people universally accept it as not that great, Mm -hmm. you want to know why it still, you know, financially did pretty well? Simply because it was an MCU. Yes. Like you create a loyal fan base and people will watch your movie anyway, even if you get the occasional flop. It wasn't a flop, but it wasn't. It was just, it wasn't as good compared to the You don't get the same reaction as Marvel movie as DC movie. So it was just DC, like, you expected to be trash. That's absolute fact. Cause Marvel, I was, you expected to be fire. I was shaky about Wonder Woman, Aquaman, I and Shazam. I was shaky about Aquaman. I was shaky about Shazam. And then I went in. I was satisfied. But I was just like, I'm still kind of shaky because right. I'm just like, you started off rough. So I can only imagine yes. like, yes. I start to see like, there's, there's more of a pattern now. So it's starting to be a little bit more consistent. And I'm starting to get a little more hopeful. I think they're starting to figure it out. Like, okay, this is what's working. Um, Just as was I. It was doodle. Who cares about Stephen Wolf? Stephen Wolf was never a problem. Like, also, Cyborg wasn't in the original Justice League. I mean, that's. I mean, it's, it's whatever. But that's it's whatever. Not, but that's, no, it's not really. It's not really here nor there. It's not know? here or there. But for me, I I was like, what? I was cool with it. I just felt like if they would have gave up. Mm. He was someone mm. who definitely deserved more than a five-minute back origin, too, because a lot of people don't know about Cyborg. Right. This is true. Like, they just literally said, oh, explosion in the lab, fuse with the mother box. Sorry. Ding, 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 ding. That, that, that's highly offensive. That's how the theme song goes. <sighs> Fine. When there's trouble, you know who to call. Ding, 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 ding. There you go. Better? No. Um. <laughs> yeah. What time were we at anyway in terms of the... uh? IDK. Um, it tells you at the top where the blue little ticker line with the red. Where? We got like 40 something minutes. Okay, that's not bad. We got 40 something minutes. That's not bad. That's actually around the time I was actually aiming for. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. But I, I think we're going to just give it a break here. You know, let me know if you actually enjoy uh, Gina. I think I'm popping. She thinks, but uh, you have to let me know if she actually is. Then, Damn. if anything, you know, it'll just be her first and last time, <laughs> and then you'll never hear from her again. But, um, he if killed you're new, me, he threw me in a ditch, guys. If you want to kill somebody <laughs> and get away with it, here's the secret listen up, everybody. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What you do is, mm-hmm. um, before you move the body, let's really focus on covering up the room that the what? person died in. And why, right? listen, please do, do the Dexter kind of thing, you know get the plastic and all that i love dexter and then what you do is you actually get a, cast, a show. cast iron tub you can actually get a cast but iron he tub. only killed people that deserve it i don't right. deserve it i mean that they know of but um <gasps> get a cast iron tub you probably get one from you know junkyard or whatever you don't really need it for the anything trinity dancing. killer <laughs> so this is what's gonna happen you're gonna get a cast iron tub get some sulfuric acid and basically you're gonna start cutting the body into sections i don't like that he knows this <laughs> cutting the body into sections then the sulfuric acid is gonna break down and it's going to break down the flesh so that way it's going to decay the dna too much to be recognized as well as the flesh is going to pretty much be non-existent and like this sludge then what you do with that sludge is you can either empty it into buckets or you can take like the flat not the the flag the (laughs) the uh the cast iron tub right you can just take Um, it with you and then like just dump it into any body of water lake river and the thing is, it's going to dilute in the water. So it would never even click, not even to fish, that it's blood because the acidity of the acid just heavily decayed the blood and, you know, the um, what's the platelets that are in your blood and all that stuff. And, you know, you'll be fine. Guys, there, he's really thought no this crime, through. Like I said, if there's no body, no crime. He's and you'll really be fine. thought this through. I really did think this through. This is why I went to school for, you know, criminology to Ooh, really. And he went to school for it, guys. I I'm just, doomed. So, if you don't hear from me ever again, you know what happened to me. Yeah, I definitely got rid of that body. But even if I admit this right now on the podcast, there will be no evidence. And, 
you know that's hearsay it's all circumstantial that's that's, that's hearsay and it's, it and it's all circumstantial and it won't hold up in court <laughs> and there'll be no witness no evidence nothing like that and basically i'll be free to go i'll be acquitted and that is the justice system of america because you know in the criminal justice system sexually based offenses <laughs> are especially heinous <laughs> dum, dum. <laughs> oh my god anyways if you enjoy the podcast you know be sure to you know subscribe to the podcast on uh, either anchor itunes uh, spotify stitcher we're on all that you know we're on a couple that i don't really remember all platforms pretty much all platforms and like i said let me know about you know if you enjoy gina and if you feel the need to support you know donate like a dollar or two dollars three dollars no you know, donation is too small if you, you can donate anything, even just your, the even presence, if it's 50 cents. even your presence a is penny, enough, you know, a comment with a smile. You going to keep going? Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you later on. Bye. Peace out. Peace in the Middle East.